Which you guys, today we're taking a look at how to fix the Windows PC volume keeps going up and down automatically on its own. As you can see here, the volume is automatically adjusting itself and I'm going to show you how to resolve it in this video. Now this is quite a common problem and uh, there's quite a few steps to go through and I'll show you all the things to check on your PC to make sure this isn't happening to you. So when you speak in, it will go higher and when you stop speaking, it will go lower and it's quite a common issue. So first off, let's go back into Windows here. This works on Windows 10 and Windows 11. First of all, we're going to open up Discord. So near your user profile, you should see a little cog saying user settings. Click on it. And then once you're inside here, click on voice and video. Now, Discord is a voice uh, application where you can chat and also type up text messages. But this also means that it's going to control your audio. And with any other program that you use, whether it be Discord, TeamSpeak, Ventrilo, if you ever still use those, or any other application that's controlling your voice or controlling audio, you need to check. Now, inside here, you're going to see an area that says attenuation. It says lower the volume of other applications by the percentage when the user is speaking. Set to 0% to completely disable attenuation. And you can see here, if you've got this up, by so many percentage is going to keep controlling your audio when you're speaking or others are speaking on Discord. You can see here when I speak or when others speak. Now, when you're using applications like Discord, it can control your audio and this can mess up your audio and automatically adjust audio to suit. So it's important if you're using applications like this to go in and check your video and voice uh, settings inside there. And this should stop that from happening. So set it to zero. Next, we're heading into the system settings inside Windows. And once we're inside here, we're going to look for troubleshoot. Click on this one and then other troubleshooters. Click on uh, that section right there. Once we're inside here, we're looking for uh, playing audio. And this is going to be for your audio that you're playing or recording audio. There's two options here available. But playing audio is the one that we're going to click on here. And this will detect any sort of problems. You'll see a bunch of audio devices here. And you can see how many are on this computer here. So choose the one that is uh, causing you issues. But normally this is going to be your built-in audio, which is something like uh, Realtek uh, USB audio or Realtek audio or other types of audio, whether it be your headphones. If you use headphones for your audio, you can go ahead and turn off effects and enhancements. It's telling you to go to, yes, open up audio enhancements so click on this part here and this will just go through a bunch of steps to tell you what to do so go in here and this will open up this little speaker properties here inside here there's a bunch of little settings we can mess around with so in your levels make sure you've got your levels up high and make sure it's not obviously disabled here and once you're set inside here go to advanced inside the advanced area here we have a default format and we also have this exclusive mode here. And like I said before, allow applications to take exclusive control of your device. We don't want to allow that to happen because obviously uh, it's going to allow it to control the audio and you don't want it adjusting audio or turning that off. So uncheck that. Any sort of enhancements that are inside your audio, yours might look slightly different. Just uncheck mark all of the enhanced audio features for that particular audio device. Unplug any other audio devices that you have plugged into your computer to stop any sort of confusion and try to find out what the problem is. Make sure the device status is working properly. And then once you're inside here, check the driver tab and you can go into the drivers and update your drivers. Click on the search automatically to find drivers for updating. You can also check for Windows updates for driver updates. You can also head to the manufacturer's website of your motherboard or your audio card and basically get updates from there. And make sure you're using the latest drivers uh, for your audio device so it's working correctly. And once you're inside here, there's some other options available for you. You can see the driver date here and it will tell you the driver date for that particular uh, driver. Inside here, you'll also see under the update drivers, browse my computer and then let me pick from the available drivers on my computer. If you're on the wrong driver, this could be causing the problem as well. So make sure you select the correct driver in that list for your particular device. Now, once you're also in here, you'll see rollback driver. Maybe the new driver that you're using 
is causing an issue. You can use the rollback feature and it will let you choose a, an older version of that driver to see whether it was working. Maybe you've updated your system and now it's not working, but previously it was working fine. So you can choose one of these options. A previous version of the driver performed better or it was more reliable. And you can check mark this and tell them what the problem was. And then you can click yes and then roll back to an older version of that driver. And hopefully that rectifies your problem. So that's that section over with. So let's go ahead and close these off and move on. So you still haven't finished with the actual uh, plain audio troubleshooter. You can apply this fix here to set it as default if that's what you need to do. I'm going to skip this feature because I'm just running this test on a pair of headphones here. But basically, once you've done that, hopefully that rectifies your problem. If not, open up Device Manager here by right clicking on the Start button and uninstall the actual driver that you want to uh, reinstall. And this may be having issues. So click on the uninstall driver, restart your PC and see if it puts the driver back on. If it doesn't, head over to the manufacturer's website and download that driver and you should see it. Uh, repopulate on the screen right there and that means you've reinstalled it just in case there's some sort of bug or an issue with it you can reinstall that driver now head back into the settings panel and hit system and then sound and then once you're inside here we're going to come all the way down to where it says more sound settings click on this and it will give you the old legacy settings panel here once you're inside here head up to communications and you'll see here reduce the volume uh, for other sounds by 80%. We want to do nothing here because we don't want it reducing any audio. So set that to do nothing. Next up, go to services and go to your services panel here. Open up the services and look for your Windows service for audio here. So Windows audio is what we're looking for. And it's right here. So click on this one and make sure that is set to automatic and it is running OK. Once it's on automatic, you can then go and click apply and OK. And then you can go up to the top and restart the service. If it wasn't set to automatic, you can restart this service just like so. And this will restart all the services for that audio here. If you had it set to manual, then you need to have it on automatic for it to work correctly. Now that's done. That's the services part out the way. Next up, if you've got a mixer or any sort of audio device plugged into your computer or any sort of software that is controlling your audio, just make sure that you've got all the settings correct in there. If you're using some sort of virtual audio cable where it gives you extra audio, then make sure all of that is set correctly because that can cause havoc with your audio as well. And maybe just take it out of the equation just while you're troubleshooting to make sure your audio is working correctly. So just check all of the devices that you've plugged in and also any sort of software that controls your audio. Other than that, you should get your audio back up and running and you should take control of your audio volume on your Windows PC. This works for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So hopefully once you've done all these, your system should be back up and running. But normally when your audio is going up and down like this, there's some sort of software that is controlling the audio that is changing the volume uh, to suit other people when they're talking or when you're speaking. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now. <laughs>